All right, guys, this is your favorite time, right? I think you love these equations so much. So we're going to go through this. We're not going to cry about it. We're going to get through it. Um, you'll be fine. So let's just go through each question. I'll slowly get you guys started. And then eventually, once you just realize that you're just using your equation rules, what are your rules for equations? And, and stop thinking of the, all these letters as something crazy. And just imagine if they were just numbers, um, you would do the same thing. So for number one, let's take it to solve for x. So what are we going to do? We have, we have to get rid of, rid, rid of the 6. That's all we're going to do. So your answer would be g over 6 equals x. Okay. I'm going to keep clearing my screen as I do each problem. All right. What about number two? Solve for x again. Well, I gotta, I'm gonna rewrite it. All right, I gotta get what? I gotta get rid of the positive two first, the constant, that's not with the x. So I gotta get rid of this two, and move it over. You obviously can't combine u and two, so it goes u plus two with two x, and then what? We're gonna divide two. So your final answer are u, u plus two divided by two equals x. Okay, keep it going. You guys try number two on your own, or three on your own. All right, this is a little trickier. You guys got this. You got to get rid of the m first, minus m. So z minus m equals negative x. All right, well, now I can't keep an answer as negative x. I got to divide this negative 1 out of it. If I divide negative 1 here, you could leave it like that. Or you could realize that all it's going to do, if you divide some negative 1 to it, it's just going to change the sign. So this z is going to become negative. The m is going to become positive. So it's going to be negative z plus m equals x. Okay? Am I going too fast? Let's go. Let's keep it going. All right. Try number 4 on your own. Super simple. It's one step. One step. All right. You're going to divide c. All right, g over c equals a. Let's not cry about this. We're fine. All right, number five, solve for x. Okay, well, that's a one-stepper as well. All you have to do is add k to both sides. u plus k equals x. Now x is all alone. It's okay if x is on the right side of the equal sign. That's not a big deal. All right, what about number six? Well, you just got to get rid of c. g minus c equals x. Okay, all we need to do is get rid of that C, and now X is by itself. All right, number seven. All right, we got to solve for A. This one's a little more, more intense. I like this one, though. How do you get A by itself? You can't just divide K out. That doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. You can't just do that. So you got to actually, let me see, I can't just change, change a color real quick here. All right, if I do this, I'm going to go ahead and multiply. I got to get rid of this A over to this side. So I'm going to multiply it on this side. So now I have a u equals k. Okay. Now, how do I get a by itself? I can divide u because it's being multiplied. So a equals k divided by u. Okay. A little interesting. I just had to move the a over to this side and then get rid of the u. All right. No big deal. And then what about over here? We're going to go ahead and just divide c to both sides. Easy peasy. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's see if I can move this down pretty easily. Oh, it won't let me. Hold on. Back to the pointer. All right. Keep it going. All right. We're going to drop it down here to the bottom. We have to solve for A. So we're going to get this. Now we have numbers. Oh no, Marissa, well, I have numbers here too. What am I supposed to do? Calm down. Again, you guys get so worked up on this. It's not that difficult. You guys can do this. Let's first get rid of what? The 12. Let's get rid of the 12. Divide the 12 to both sides. And I probably shouldn't have done that to the whole thing. Oops, let me see if I can go back here. So 12am equals 4. What I was saying is I'm just going to divide the 12 first. I'm allowed to do that. All right, so now I have a m equals 4 over 12, which is actually 1 third. Now, I'm going to divide this out. So this might be a little confusing. 
let's see if I have to now go ahead and divide the m out too. Let's see what this actually looks like in the answer. If I'm going to go ahead and go down here, I bet it, I bet I can do it all at once. So that's what the I bet the answer would have said. Let's see here. This is going to be number nine. Let's check number nine's answer key. All right. It's okay to check the answer key. Okay, cool. So yeah, they divided the whole thing all at once. One third and the M just came down here instead. So I was wondering how they left it. That's how they're going to leave number nine. All right. No big deal. Let's go back up there. I want you guys getting the hang of this. I don't mind going through all of these with you as long as you guys start to get the hang of it. Let's go back to the pen, clear screen. All right, go ahead and let's try 10 together. Again, I have no problem going through this with you guys. Try 10 together. So we're going to go ahead and go... What do we got here? We have to get rid of x, so I'm going to subtract 2c first. So now I have negative 3x equals what? Negative 2c minus 3. Then I have to divide negative 3 to everything. So x equals, you could keep it positive. You know it's all going to change positive eventually over 3. Okay. And some people would say you could divide that 3 out. But let me see. Let's take a look at our answer again. This is number 10. How do we leave it? Number 10. Is that what we want? Look at 10. That's what we want. Okay. Again, let's keep it going. 11 through 13. Let's go. All right. 11 to 13. So you're going to go A. Get A. Solve for A. So you're going to just go ahead and what, divide M. So you have A equals N plus P divided by m. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and try 12. You're going to go ahead. I'm going to rewrite this. I would, what would I do first? I would multiply and get rid of that b. You want to get rid of this b by multiplying the b. So now you have b u equals a k. And then let's get the k out of there by dividing. Okay. So now you have b u divided by k equals a. All right. 13. Solve for a. Well, this isn't difficult at all. You just have to add c. a equals c plus d minus r. And then this last one, solve for x. Come on now, guys. Just divide them x equals n p over m. All right, now I was thinking, do I just let you guys go for it on the other side, on this back side? But why don't we, I'm going to give you a different thing for the back side. So hopefully you guys are good to go. I'm going to give you a separate uh, set of work, and I want you to finish that back side, and then go ahead and finish that review Desmos that I left for my regulars, but that's stuff that's on your benchmark as well, so I want you guys to have it really good. It should be easy. No big deal. And then I may drop some homework in there. I may not. The Desmos might be the homework. All right, guys, do the best you can. Great job.